what we're doing right now, we're standing at the precipice of historical days. I hope you understand that these are different days. These are, this is not no, what's going on right now in your television ain't normal. From the weather, to the politics, to the crime, none of this is normal. Um, the three things that I think you should consider focusing on this year more than any other is your faith, your family, and your future. Because the wisdom you get is for the situation, the part of life you're in. Your teenage wisdom is not for your adult years. Because everybody's got new stuff they're dealing with right now. And so the Bible says in the New Testament, in James chapter 1, verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So if you don't have wisdom, you ain't have to enroll in school in it. Hi folks. In light of the CDC's uh, directives to minimize the risk of the spreading of the COVID-19 virus, we want to make sure that we keep our people safe. So we're suspending live Sunday morning services for the time being. While we remain a place of worship and prayer and faith and maturity, um, we're gonna have to separate physically, but not spiritually that we're living in perilous times. There, there's a thread being pulled through the very fabric of the United States, and I dare say the entire world, but I wanna focus on our country. And I pray that this time, as there is uprising and there is discontent and there is uh, verbal discussion on what's happening, not only in the streets, but even in the churches of America, that we don't do what I call a patch job this time that we don't try to patch over or um, just fluff over what people's concerns are and the discontent and the sin of our country. I hope we don't run out of time. Don't get caught up in some of the, the, the visceral and the arguments of the time. You have to actually make sure you, you, you cling to Christ and also make sure your conscience stays clear and pure before the Lord. Make sure you keep your mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you that's in Christ Jesus. Even in a season of pandemic, listen to me guys, even in a season of pandemic, uh, we should say what God has done for us. What he's done for us. And we don't just have to say it in church. If your enemy, or whether it's a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual enemy, if it had you, and somehow it doesn't have you right now, you qualify as a, re as a redeemed individual. So you can testify, you can say so.